after the disaster last week with the uh, two component paint that melted on me I finally have a new plug printed it's the same type of material it's just two different colors so I will go ahead I have added some uh, plastic primer to it and now I will put one coat of uh, spray filler and then use some um, bondo in the uh, seams so as you can hear I'm wearing a mask this uh, spray filler is really good but it's very potent and uh, I'm being smart wearing a mask this is a test section of a stern for Kookaburra 3 that I made where I have painted with a different kind of paint so it's a two component polyurethane paint and I will I will use this as a test sample before I make the mold for the big boat so this is how I plan to do the bustle I printed these two pieces two halves and then I'm gluing them together with just five minute epoxy and then I will glue this to the hull and blend it in with Bondo. So the bustel glued in place. Still a little shiny I just put quite a lot of spray filler on here but this hull shape will be um, how shall I put it don't find the English word for it but still have some more work to do to blend in the bustle but it's getting there it, uh, I think it was a pretty good way of doing it. Do the hull. There's plenty of challenges in uh, 3D modeling one of these hulls. And then do the bustle separate. And in all fairness, I didn't get the bustle perfect. But I fixed that with, with the bondo when I blended in 
it had a, a few uh, low spots on it but I did one first and fixed it a little bit so this one was a lot better but it would be cool to I have the bustle on the hull from the beginning so cool stuff plug number two So this is Kookaburra 2, the bottom, and Australia 2. These are scale 1 to 10.6, my old scale. So what's going to happen is I'm going to build both of these in scale 1 to 10. So I have all of them in the same scale. Had a little mechanical breakdown. This is the newer of the two printers I have. And... Uh, the hot end plastic got in it and uh, in all fairness I was gonna remove the uh, hot end but managed to plastic had gone up and burned these wires off so new hot end ordered and will so this will be as good as new once I get that the keel is sitting here and I'm letting this paint Harden, so it's now been probably a week since I painted it and it will sit upside down here for at least another probably two to three weeks before I put it right side up this is 1k one component paint and it takes it, it's really good paint but it takes a while to harden the boss hasn't been very helpful tonight He's more interested in eating. Pele. Say hello, Pele. Pele. Still drying, but you can see the bustle fairing it in, starting to look halfway decent, if I am allowed to say so. And this time I will use a totally different paint, not car paint. I will uh, use it two component polyurethane paint and I will test on a separate piece before I'm not screwing up again I hope I want to thank everyone for subscribing and watching these poorly made and poorly edited videos <laughs> thanks very much I think by now you have figured out that I'm not a professional but I love what I do and Every boat I build, I try to make it a little bit better. And the same with this one. This hull will be, once I painted it, paint it, it will be straighter and better than the one that I had to go to the dump with on Tuesday. I hope everyone had a very good Easter. Staying safe from COVID and hopefully you have gotten vaccines. We are a little behind here in Sweden, so my mom and my dad has been vaccinated. But uh, me and my wife, we're still waiting, so we're probably three or four weeks off still. But I'm not complaining. I, I can work from home, so I'm fortunate. Thank you for watching, and um, hopefully a new video out already this weekend, depending if I can paint this. So, see you soon.